Hello Sagittarius, thank you for joining us. This is Pastor Rosemary coming to you from Ansar Angels Ogden. This angel scope is for both Sagittarius Sun and Sagittarius Moon. These are your December 2014 Christian Angel Answers from your Sagittarius Angel at Nachiel who resides over a mutable fire. Sagittarius leaves November behind asking, I wonder what happens next in my life. Now Sagittarius, before we get into uh, your transmission from your angel at Nachiel. Uh, we'd like to just go over uh, the email from the person who won the lottery. Uh, it was chosen this month to have their question read on air. And the person is Bakuptrans31, who says, Hi, I'm a Sag, S A G, Sag, and I guess that would mean that I'm blessed by Philip or the Apostle Philip, whatever you call him, in your training video. I'm Roman Catholic, and in our tradition, this Apostle's feast day is in May on the 3rd of the month. Well, this is a good question. And uh, I want to thank back uh, up on Trans 31, because it's a very good question and kind of we like to answer. Uh, you know, it's an interesting question. But yes, you're right. Uh, on For Roman Catholics, uh, the Apostle Philip is celebrated on uh, May 3rd. Uh, and I think you said that. But just to corroborate what you're saying, you're correct. Now, the, the Lutherans and the Anglicans celebrate this feast day on May 1st, May Day. However, the Eastern Orthodox celebrate it on November 1st. 14th. Now, why are we celebrating it uh, on that? To answer your question, uh, it's just because we we have our formal education in Rosicrucianism, which is more akin to the Eastern Orthodox system, and uh, the um, you know Eastern Orthodox system, you know, like Russian Orthodox those kind of systems in Greek. There, there's so many different systems, Christian systems. I mean, all, I, I'm sure all religions have, you know, sub-sects, you know, it goes, it goes with it, sub-categories. You know, every, everyone does. It's just that the, I, I was, I have some education, some Catholic education, luckily, uh, and I was brought up Catholic, but my formal education is in Rosicrucianism. So that's why we utilize this particular system, system of Christian Rosencrantz. Okay, now continuing with Nachiel's transmission and interspersed, just, just to let you know how it's going to go, the angel of the Lord sort of gives an overview, kind of flavored with, the, with your angel. And then as we get into Sagittarius love matters and Sagittarius money matters and Sagittarius health matters, then we're going to get very unique to you. Uh, and Nachiel came through better this month, very uniquely for you this month. So, Sagittarius, you're half human, half horse nature, or half archer, kind of riding upon the horse nature, can give you both the clairvoyance as well as the accuracy. To see the archer's mutable fire nature calming yourself and those you care for in the month of December. Sagittarius should take scrupulous note of the sun's shining its pale light in the northern hemisphere on the sign of the Apostle Philip, known as, as your sign, Sagittarius the Archer, taking an exact measure of the high trajectory of the Chiron moon, or cold moon, on the 6th of December at 1227, uh, exactly uh, 1227 UTC, uh, coordinated universal time in the month of December. The sun will be oppositely, oppositely low in the sky with midwinter bringing in the northern hemisphere what is known as the Achilles moon. Achilles moon or long night moon so beloved in the ancient legends where Achilles is known to have decapitated Apollo to rescue Helen of Troy, the Selene moon. If you reside in the Southern Hemisphere, Sagittarius, the solar and lunar behavior of your chart will be reversed, and therefore much confusing exhilaration will ridicule 
all hysterically fretting, overly involved creatures in these regions undampened by the cold wetness of the moon and whipped into a temperamental frenzy by the peaking of the sun. This is where Christian astrocartography comes in handy, Sagittarius, uh, because it's, it's handy to help you understand uh, both your behavior and the behavior of those you love. Because astrocartography talks about where you live now or where you may be moving, because there's where you're born, but then there's where you live and where you're moving to. It can also matter. And we are uh, experts in the science of Christian astrocartography, Sagittarius, so stay tuned. Okay, continuing with the transmission from a Nachiel. Sagittarius, your mind and thought patterns are being tenderized by divine providence and Jesus Christ, who is the great alchemist of the universe. So, who is Jesus Christ? He is the king of the universe, he is the great alchemist of the universe of your soul and all parts of it. Now he's going to be bringing you through the planetary influences of your chart this month. He's going to tenderize you. Archers in the northern hemisphere will find themselves in the alchemical stage of the Bain Marie, which is a soothing bath meant to derive all the mercury of your spirit, your best traits, to be put aside for you when it becomes necessary for the edification of others who will need your gifts of luminous light. This is the process of your body of light becoming even more unique. Uh, Sagittarius persons residing in the southern hemisphere will undergo the alchemical substage of calcination held within the sublime main stage of dissolution where this great alchemist called the Lord Jesus Christ will submit your ego and will to his, luckily, in a manner that is more egalitarian than scrutinizing. Now what is Anachiel saying? Basically saying that you're going to be put through certain ego dissolution, mostly, this month. If you're in the north, mostly ego dissolution, which is kind of a gentle, warm bath. The Bain Marie is, is a gentle, warm bath in Aachen. I, I cooks know about that, yeah? So uh, the calcination that takes place in the, if you live in the southern hemisphere, because the sun is going to be reversed, you know, it's just a different season for you all. You're celebrating Christmas, but still the sun is hot and the moon is low. And how is this Apostle Philip moon uh, going to affect you? Basically, the calcination is a substage. You're still going to be in dissolution, the second stage, but you're going to have uh, calcination, a substage where you're going to feel more burning of the ego, not just a warm, sort of a watery, sort of, you know, uh, emotional sentimentality that can, that can, is the cause of tuberculosis, so to speak, kind of lung problems, the dissolution, you know, actually, actually, oh, oh my goodness, they're telling me, the, the angel of Nachiel is telling me that if you're in the northern hemisphere, you could really get some lung problems if you don't keep your emotions clean. Don't get toxic. Keep your emotions clean. Keep your integrity. You'll be all right. Now, actually, people in the Southern Hemisphere, Adachio is saying that um, because of the calcination and the substage, that's a, that's a, a burning of uh, the ego. Yeah, they roast it. You roast the cinnabar. You roast the cinnabar. In, in calcination. So that roasting as a substage of the dissolution is going to cause you to actually not get sick as much as people in the northern hemisphere will get sick. Okay? Because it's not so much moisture. So just be careful of the moisture. That's, you know, 
and it helps. So because you know, but it, it might be a little more uh, not painful for the ego, but a hot ego. The ego isn't always bad. The ego has to be utilized sometimes. All right, continue with the transmission. So you're going to find that you want to be fair with everybody and be less scrutinizing. Okay, go right back at you there, Sagittarius. You know, Nakiel is saying that if you don't want others scrutinized uh, to scrutinize you so uh, precisely, then don't scrutinize them so precisely. You have to, you know, you, you get what you get. So sort of a right back at you. You're not going to be getting that from Leo's. You're going to be getting that from Aries and Scorpio a little bit. Your ego will be further dissolved, Sagittarius, in favor of your body of light here. And here a struggle will culminate. Use the intelligence of the Apostle Philip to bring peace to your mind and your life, Sagittarius. Meditate upon John chapter 14, verse 8. Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. The Father is God consciousness. Associated with water. Philip means lover of horses. Horses are associated with water and also with the horse head nebula in the constellation of Orion where the Messiah is meant to come through into our dimension to elevate us. Don't forget to recognize your fellow Sagittarius friends and family whose birthday rests on the dates from November 22nd through December 22nd. And don't forget to give birthday greetings and gifts to your archer friends and family even if they don't give gifts to you. The goddess Sekhmet takes over from the god Wajet uh, this month with her warlike influence being felt in the 26th of the month in the ancient Egyptian astrological system. So basically, because in Christian uh, Kabbalah, you have the uh, goddess going through uh, the male body and the god going through the female body, which you've got here. You've got a war goddess segment going through a male body, and you've got uh, the god Waget going or Waget going through uh, the female body. So basically, be careful. It's a very warlike month. That's what's being said here. And the ancient Egyptian system is the first light of the Christ, the unicorn, the white unicorn with the horn, the pineal gland. Because what the first monotheistic system was was not Judaism, they were pagan. The first monotheistic system was Zoroaster. And what was that? That's the the sun. That what is that? The moon is unconscious and the subconscious. And the uh, the conscious mind is the sun. So as this as people they had a solar religion, that was because they became conscious, self-conscious, becoming self-aware, that's all. And with and so then where did we go beyond that? We go when the pineal was instilled in Egypt. That's Christ consciousness. Christ means he who is anointed with crocodile oil. That's how they anointed the pharaohs of Egypt. A president of the United States is Osiris. He is a pharaoh. He is a first one, a fura, a pharaoh. President, it's the first one. It's Osiris. They're anointed with crocodile oil, at least ancient in the ancient, you know, kings were anointed this way. The ancient Merovingian and, and Christian kings were anointed this way. Uh, okay, continuing with the transmission from Anachiel and the angel of the Lord. It gets again, it gets more specific to Anachiel when we get into love and money and, and health. Uh, your ruling planet of Jupiter is highly susceptible to the generosity and compassion of modern warfare, which includes both the writing abilities and pure king of the mountain instincts. Hot temperamental anger no longer wins wars, thankfully, for where war is not the same as it once was. The sign of cancer, the crab, or by the moon, will be elevated because of that. In your life, this one, Sagittarius, if you live in the northern hemisphere, Due to the moon riding 
high on the horizon uh, in December. For archers living in the southern hemisphere, your Leo the Lion cohorts will be peaking, although attempting to shine their solar disk on Sagittarius for obvious seasonal reasons. Archers who reside in the northern hemisphere will find that your Leo the Lion friends and family members will be tucked away safely under the horizon where the sun god awaits his quick rebirth after a three-day sojourn in the depths of the Tuat region. These kings under the mountain must not be underestimated due to their soon to quicken solar aspects, regaining influence as the sun once more climbs in ascendancy up into the cold skies above the horizon. Under the earth they have found various types of radioactive stone, the very ones used by the Lord Jesus Christ to create the universe by casting down a stone into matter into the creation of a third dimensional realm. No matter what hemisphere you live in, Sagittarius, enjoy the Christmas festivities. And again, don't forget to put a wreath on your door and be sure to carry a properly chopped down pine tree through the door to be dressed and bear gifts for you and those you love if you want fertility and prosperity to bring the archer much happiness and prosperity. Because regeneration rituals need to be done. And if you don't do them, others will, and they'll have the money, and they'll have the houses, and they'll have the property, and they'll have children, and they'll have trees that bear fruit, and they'll have vines that bear, you know, tomatoes. They'll have gardens that bear fruit, and they'll have oceans with which you can catch, you know, healthy fish, healthy oceans. If you don't do this ritual, others will and they'll bypass you. Just be, you know, the Christ mind is built upon the solar mind. And the solar mind is built upon the unconscious lunar mind, the pagan mind. Lunar is pagan. Solar is monotheistic. And Christos, the, the, the oil, comes, you know, to anoint the pineal gland. Uh, this this comes through uh, a more uh, Christ consciousness, which is ascension. It's a little bit new. It's been being brought to fruition for two thousand years, and it's coming to fruition now, where everybody's Christ consciousness is becoming available online. Everybody's pineal is being. Uh, you know, able to be activated. Now, continuing with the Agnachiel transmission and an angel of the Lord. This December, we find Scorpio bearing its seed, bringing to fruition the 23rd rune stone seed Degas within the house of Sagittarius. The rune stone of Degas brings the fusion of polar opposites for Sagittarius in December. This mixing of the twin pillars of the morning dawn or conversely the twilight half-lidded eye of evening. This is a gateway for the fire of a new mind and a gatekeeper who guards his gate with Odin's one eye focusing upon runes one spied when crucified upon the Yagdrasil tree 23 being a scientific mixing point in all scientific disciplines. Those closest to Sagittarius will be the ones to keep Odin's amorous eye upon, not those far off this month. So remember, keep your eye on those closest to you. Who's closest to you? Your own ego. Sagitt that's true for all of us. Sagittarius love matters. Take the high and righteous road of the fifth runestone seed of Rado, riding Thor's war chariot in congruence with the sun's path creating an orderly rhythm for your life with auspicious maneuvers if you but stray on the path chosen and resist the temptation to bend or break the rules set before you. So stop trying to break everybody's rules or your own. Follow the rules. You'll do better. You'll feel better. Everyone breaks the rules now and then, of course. But then this is ill-advised for the archer in December. 
just not a good idea. It's the wrong thing to do. The right and correct steps have been set before you now. Just simply follow them. Sagittarius money matters produce a 20th runestone seed of Maynaz, softening the intolerance of those who would shun the contemptible. Money has a way of bringing people together. It has a way of getting things done and get, getting people chosen. Disapproving the thought or discovered <laughs> that it is the root cause of all evil. If evil is defined as live in its backwards modality, then actual living is the balm that soothes the injury of misplaced scrutiny. Evil equals live. Devil equals lived. So there is the sting that is life in the flesh. Though, you know, it's through money that human persons learn to do business with each other rather than kill each other for food and shelter. I mean, people are going to pick you apart if you don't have any money. If you have money, uh, they'll be nice to you. Maybe it's the other way around. In this way, we see that money is the root of all life upon planet Earth, be it counted as seashells or the fruit of the cash tree. Sagittarius health matters come to completion in the fourth rune stone seed of Ansu's for Sagittarius in December. The archer's wisdom and spiritual outlook that trumps dogma brings the vastness of the Sagittarian mind to deflect the treachery and attempted mental manipulation of others in December that would otherwise lead you to agonizing thoughts and emotions leading to difficult health. You don't want to go there, Sagittarius. If you argue with people and you don't just let it, you know, you know, uh, judge others, let, don't judge others lest you be judged. Live by that. Otherwise, you're going to have health problems, seriously. It's going to cause you all kind of internal stirrings, okay? Seriously. A healthy mind and a healthy body are in sync this month. Enjoy the festivities of this Christmas season and eat joyfully but smart this month for your health, vitality, vim, and vigor. Be wise, be well, be all you are meant to be, Sagittarius. Your divine tone of I perceive allows a serene mind in December. Thank you for joining us, Sagittarius, and join us again next month.